So here is the Easter egg aisle, and in comparison to Germany, Easter eggs are a big thing. Some weeks ago, we watched the film Peter Rabbit Part Two. And we found it so adorable. It's so cute. Then we also have this wonderful book, a Beatrix Potter treasury with her best love tales. And I don't know, I can't help it. Whenever I see Peter Rabbit, I have to think of Easter. And that's why we're making a so-called carrot patch cake today, because what do rabbits love most? Carrots. So, <laughs> let's make the cake! When it comes to Easter treats, there's a big difference between the UK and Germany. We went shopping yesterday and this is what we filmed. Let's look for some Easter eggs here at Tesco Extra. Hope we can find a couple of nice ones. So here is the Easter egg aisle and in comparison to Germany, Easter eggs are a big thing. Like we, in Germany, we have Easter bunnies. Yeah, these are Easter bunnies, right? But together with an egg. Oh, that, yeah, that's an egg as well. Yeah. But we have, just here. look here. So that's a huge egg. Yes, with, also with Easter bunnies. Yes. But here. So these are just small bunnies. Oh, oh, that's so funny, that one. Yeah. <laughs> but we're here for eggs, Easter eggs. So just have a look here. Now, you can find eggs with lots of other sweets inside. Yeah. But we love this. It's such a great yeah. thing. Yeah. So Maltesers. Here you have yeah. Galaxy. Yeah. Here you get M &Ms. with Cadbury with roses. With yes, salsa. Cadbury roses, usually very popular um, during Christmas time. Or here, Twix. So always an egg and then something inside. It's really funny. Not always, but a lot of them have. A lot of them have something inside, like this one. Yeah, so that, like, is this? That's an Easter bunny. Yeah. Look. With Maltesers. Yeah. That's great as well. Oh, look here. You have a, a Kit Kat. So this is a Catbury green egg. And there is a mug inside. Orange Smarties egg. A Mars egg. See here we have terrace orange, so a big egg and mini eggs inside. Kirsten. Smarties. I don't know which one That's to that. get. This one. It's a very classic. A Thornton's. Yes. yes. Yeah, that looks nice. With some truffles. Oh, there are truffles inside. I'm also thinking of getting the white one, like the the. Big or, or see here. Bounty. Yeah. But that one here is like, see that that's a milk, chocolate and coconut egg? Yeah. But, yeah, and there are two bars, bounty bars inside. That's so unique. We always yeah, love I it. And you can you see they have a, they've got a huge selection. Yeah, I was actually thinking, this one. So what? What is this? That's a white white chocolate. But that's a is that just white, white chocolate egg with white chocolate? But white that's chocolate. like not an Easter egg shape, just a no, like it's really Easter, round. No, it's an Easter egg. Oh, okay. But there are also truffles inside. Hmm. That's good. Good. So deal done. <laughs> can you can you let me know the price? I just wanted to share how Nine much pounds. they are. 
So that's nine pounds. Yes. And the Thorntons That's is four, four pounds. Four pounds. So we're getting the lit white chocolate egg. That's dark chocolate. That's nine pounds each. The Capri Dairy Milk is five pounds. Just that you get an idea. The one with the with the mug, three pounds, which is a small egg though. I've just seen that there is a huge selection of the Lind eggs. So not only the white and dark, this is salted caramel, double chocolate. I don't know if this just says assorted. Blood orange. A simple milk one. These are even bigger. See, they are 15 pounds. What, what's this? Oh, Tobler. that's a Toblerone. Toblerone egg. I haven't seen that. That's new. Yeah, it's new. How much is that? 12 pounds. So that's a bit more pricey. Yeah, yeah. Just because of the shape. Yeah. So I remember very well once we went to Germany for Easter and had our boot filled with Easter eggs. Our family loved it. Look here, that's after eight. Can you get that? Just wanted to have a look. So this is like yeah. after eight bars yeah. and an egg. Yeah, chocolate with peppermint. This is Kit -Kat. eight pounds. and But as you can see, it's like 400 grams of chocolate. So it's plenty of chocolate. Yeah, look, this one has 500 grams of chocolate. The Cadbury dairy milk with buttons inside. That's crazy. Look here. This is like a Kit Kat incredible egg. Mm. So that's ten pounds. An Easter bunny in camouflage. Oh, I haven't seen that. Before. Like a leopard. <laughs> I haven't seen that before. But as you can see, like the the section oh, of Easter bunnies is quite small compared to the oh, Easter eggs. Look, an Easter bunny as a zebra. But can I be honest? I just like the classic <laughs> yes, ones. I just love the simple ones. I don't know. Like, I don't know. Like, oh, that, that's broken, but yeah. Yeah. That's to me, yeah. it's like. Oh, look, that's. What? But now, look, they've got this one. Yeah. White chocolate with and uh, strawberry. strawberries. Hmm. Yeah. That's nice. I haven't seen that one before. That's like a... Ferrero Rocher. That's new. Yeah. But we're here for Easter eggs. Look here. This is Peter Rabbit. Yeah. Peter Rabbit and an Easter egg. Six pounds. That's great for children. Yeah. Seeing everywhere they have more eggs. Although they are the same eggs. But... Uh, <laughs> Just buy Easter eggs, people. It's crazy. Now you've got your Easter eggs. Well, two of them. Yeah. We, you could go totally overboard. Yeah, you could buy tons of Easter eggs. You could. What was the most expensive egg? Uh, I think it was fifteen pounds. Fifteen pounds. That was the lint one, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. But I think. Uh, in Waitrose, you can buy even more expensive ones. Of course, of course. Like if you go to to London to Fortnum and Mason or Harrods, they have Easter eggs that are like I think a hundred fifty pounds or two hundred pounds. So that's totally crazy and not necessary. Yeah. I hope this was interesting for you. But now let's start with the cake. So the carrot patch cake consists of wet and dry ingredients and I'm going to start with the wet ingredients. You need oil, natural yogurt, vanilla bean extract and it says three large eggs and we only have medium eggs so we're going to use four. And for the dry part you will need self-raising flour, this is gluten-free flour, sugar, cinnamon, nutmeg and 
a pinch of salt and of course you will need carrots, then some pistachios and raisins. Okay, this looks like this now. Jörg and I really love a cake with carrots in it. And I'm now greasing this cake tin and then it can go into the oven. This will go into the oven for one hour, 10 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius and that was the easy bit. Really? This guy here will be responsible for the decoration. What will you do? A piece of art. Yes, so Jörg will make the carrots uh, with icing. Yeah. Fingers crossed. I'm great at these things. I will watch you very closely. Yeah, yeah we have to, have to because otherwise I'll be eating all the, all the stuff. He's always, like I just said, why are you chewing? You like? Do you have chewing gum in your mouth? No, this is what he's been snacking: pistachios. Hmm. Stop it! No. no, we need them. No, honestly, we need them. I think for the cake. Hmm. <laughs> While the carrot cake is baking, we're making some small marble cakes, Marmorkuchen in German. So easy to make, and marble cakes are very popular in Germany, almost like a staple. Now this looks good. Yes, it looks quite good. I was a bit concerned at first because the batter was so wet. The next step now is to prepare the icing, which I will do. Now, for the icing, I will need butter, some cream cheese or soft cheese and icing sugar. For the carrots, I will use fondant icing and orange food color. But you can also use marzipan if you prefer that. This is when you're doing something for the very first time and encounter problems. You have just used the fondant and the orange food colouring. See, it doesn't work. No, but I'm trying something now. Um, this is something like a carrot, <laughs> or looks, like, looks a bit like a carrot. Yeah, so you're always witness when we're doing things for the very first time. And what we just said is, you know what we will do? We will just take the orange food colouring, like you have just shaped the carrots. Yeah, and just coat it. Yeah, we just put on some drops of each carrot and then use a brush and then, yeah, that works. That's how we do it. cake turned out so well. It looks like this. I think it looks really really nice. And in the meantime we also made some little German Marmorkuchen and now it's time to decorate the table. For today's Easter table we're using a lovely gingham tablecloth topped with colourful tulips, two candles with our very old candlesticks that we've had for decades. They were a wedding gift. These are the two eggs that we bought yesterday and we wanted to show you what's inside. Uh, 
Oh. <laughs> so it's a big egg. Yeah, that's the egg. Yeah. And that's a, a little bit different. So it's not, because sometimes we have eggs that are actually filled with the, with more sweets. So that's the egg. And I'll give you something in a second. And there are more truffles. Like the truffles, yeah. 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 Yes. And in the other egg, so that's the, the other egg, I figured the truffles might be inside this one. Might be different than the lint one. See, the lint is better, has less pl plastic. Ah, no, it's... It's the same. Oh, I don't like the plastic. That's not good, is it? What do you think? It's a recyclable problem. So the egg is very nice. Okay, we just read that the plastic is recyclable. So that's good. Now here I have three eggs that I colored yesterday. Every Easter, we try to color some eggs and this year we did something that my mom has been doing since I was a child. And this is the very first time that I tried it myself. So this is what an egg looks like with onion peel. It's a very natural method. So you just peel I don't know how many onions that we use. I think four onions and then you add water. Let the water boil. Take it off the heat and just put in the eggs. And I think they have been in the water for about 15 minutes and they look like this. So very natural. But I'm also coloring some eggs using food coloring. I just don't want to film the entire process because we showed it like the two previous years. So this is green food coloring. This is pink food coloring. And I'm currently using the green coloring. But as you can see, it, the eggs are just neat a little bit longer, maybe maybe 10 to 15 minutes and then it should be all right. And I will add some chicken biscuits. We bought them, I must admit, so it would have been a bit too much work, but I think they look quite nice. And I'm just adding some small chocolate eggs. <laughs> I don't know if that's I don't know, I'm always a little bit insecure if it looks nice or not, but uh, probably, I sometimes think I'm probably too hard on myself. I don't know. Okay, that goes here. This is the lit chocolate egg. And then I have these little eggs for decoration and I will fill them with chocolate eggs. These are the little Deutsche Marmorkuchen <laughs> and I'm not, I'm not sure if I should add some of the biscuits. I just give it a try. Last but not least, the highlight of our, I would call it Beatrix Potter inspired Easter table. This gorgeous carrot patch. Yeah, cake. it looks wonderful. Doesn't it? Yes.
are finally ready for Easter. Yes, everything's prepared. And we hope you like our Beatrix Potter inspired Easter table. Although I must say we haven't tried the cake yet, so we don't know how good it is. <laughs> it looks good and I think it will be fine. I'm sure. And as always, you will find the recipes down below in the info box. So we hope you will have a lovely Easter. And thank you so much for watching as always. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Frohe Ostern. Frohe Ostern und tschüss. Tschüss. See you again very soon. Bye. This will go into the oven. <laughs> Come on, Mark, make it. <coughs> Forget it. It's time to decorate the table. We will show you the finished cake in a second. Ich weiß überhaupt noch nicht, was ich sagen will. In the UK and Germany. As you will see now, yeah, because we filmed, because we went shopping yesterday and uh, let's have a look. Und das Ganze jetzt Sag mal ruhig. auf Deutsch. Das ist eine Taube. Das Ganze jetzt auf Deutsch. Meine lieben Leute, ja, ja, Ostern ist sehr, sehr unterschiedlich im, in, den, in, in den UK ja, im Vergleich zu Deutschland. Ja. <lacht> Und wir zeigen euch das gleich, ja, weil wir gestern Shopping waren und äh, das aufgenommen haben. Wir haben ein Gesicht erkennen. Mhm. Richtig? So ein schönes Gesicht erkennt man immer. Ja. Oder ich müsste ich sagen, I, I hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed our trip to Tesco's yesterday. Now let's start with the cake. Sag mal was. Ja.